성경 사무엘 상하에 나타난 예수님의 흔적에 대해 팀 켈러 목사님께서 말씀해 주십니다. How does first second Samuel point us to Christ? There are key um, images that point us to Jesus. The one is David and Goliath. The most famous chapter in the book is where little David stands forth as a champion against Arissa's life against Goliath. And a champion was someone, if two, if two armies put a champion forward and the champion who beat the other champion, uh, that meant that the, the one army wins even though it was only one person that risked his life. And the other army loses, even though it was only one person that lost his life. And therefore, when David kills Goliath, his victory is imputed. It's transferred to, to the Israelite army. They win without lifting a finger. And the same way, of course, Jesus Christ is our substitute. He's our champion. He, of course, put himself forward and fought for us, not at just the risk of his life, but at the cost of his life. And his victory is transferred to us. Secondly, of course, you, as many of you know, um, the, um, the son of David that is predicted in 2 Samuel 7 is Jesus. Jesus is, uh, God, uh, God tells David, there's going to be one of your descendants who's going to reign forever. And so there, ever after that, the Messiah, the uh, predicted Messiah was known as going to be the son of David. One last idea. Uh, Jesus is a true king. But as we're going to see, he's also a suffering servant. And at this point, that's not yet to be seen. Uh, it won't come out until we get into the prophets. But right now, we do know that he is the king that, you're, that you need, that I need, and that all of our hearts need.